back, what would you do if you built a new home and found out you didn't get what you paid for? Then to fix the problem, you're told to split the cost with the builder. That's what one family says happened to them. So they called ABC 4's Jason Wynn to investigate their property line dispute. Take a look at Mallory Rogers and Stephen Carter's dream home. The whole reason we purchased a larger home from where we came from is to have a yard for our child and our dogs. And as it stands, we haven't, it's going to be put off. The family moved into the Saratoga Springs home last January, and they were given nine months to complete their yard or face a fine from their homeowners association. The family built a fence around their yard and split the cost with two of their neighbors. However, unlike some of their neighbors, the new homeowner's property has a berm. We were told by our foreman of our um, build uh, that the berms that they put in, the big dirt berms, were representative of our property lines and that under no circumstances should we be touching those berms. That is where our fences should go. They say this is the original stake used to mark the property. The family says they were a little surprised when a new surveyor showed up. Another surveyor came out to our property and um, different from the first surveyor, different company from what I understand, and resurveyed our property and we discovered the property lines were off. Yeah. Yeah, found property, I guess, is probably a, a good thing most of the time, but for us, not so good. The situation was not good for all four neighbors. Curbing, fencing, landscaping, sprinklers, oh, and those berms would all need to be moved. And like any new homeowner, they called their builder, who they say came back with the deal. When they came back to us and, and basically said, well, we're legally not responsible for this. We have no liability. We have no concerns here. We've been told by our legal teams, basically, you guys can shove it. Um, so we'll split these costs with you 50-50. It was just a, a huge kick in the gut where I was like, this, is, this isn't right, you know? So they reached out to ABC4 News, and I got involved and contacted the main builder, DR Horton, by email. <laughs> Following up with the call the next day, I was told they only respond to media inquiries in writing. Two hours after I placed the calls, Mallory and Stephen got a call of their own. One, so apologize. The four men of our build um, called my husband's phone and left us a voicemail he wasn't able to answer at the time and said hey we're so sorry you know we'd like to apologize for this we're taking full responsibility and we're going to 100 percent cover the cost allowing them to finally complete their home and get their yard done and avoid a fine from their hoa i'm absolutely glad we called you i'm very very happy i'm very grateful i think they did the right thing in what they said to us i accept their apology it's been nearly a month and I still haven't heard back from the company headquarters. I spoke with the family a little bit ago and they say they have bids into their contractor to get their yard fixed and they're waiting for that work to begin. Glenn.